hello, hello, hello. Hi guys, <laughs> it's your girl Endum to do your daily readings for June 4th. And I'm talking to you, my earth, my earth element. I love you guys. Um, my Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgos. Awesome people, awesome people. All right, what do we need to know for today? For Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. What do we have here? Okay. Taurus and Virgo. We have the Two of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Devil in reverse. Believe it or not, that's a Capricorn uh, card. Four of Cups. And at the bottom of the deck, we do have the Five of Wands. Okay. Oh, your challenge. You have the Seven of Swords as your challenge. Okay, so... Um, I'm going to start, of course, with our focal point earth science. We have the five of pentacles. So, you know, two, I, I get two things. I get that either earth signs, you guys have either been very, very um, secluded and now your visions, your whatever it was that you were trying to manifest, what you believed in, what you were trying to manifest, you were doing it by yourself, but it's now you now have company. You now have people that are here to help, and um, you're catching people's attention. So now we have a community. We have a team. We're building together, right? Um, or, um, and we're going to find out here what the deal is, but it's either that or you started with a lot of people, and it's just declining little by little so it's almost like all this awesome work that you got that you started in the beginning earth signs now they are it's depleting uh, people are just moving away they're just not interested other priorities are coming in so that's what our focal point is telling us today being that we have the two of pentacles in reverse I actually want to say that it's a good thing. It's a good thing because if I'll show you the two of pentacles right side up. So if you see it right side up, you see how he's juggling. You see how it's almost like he's tied. It's almost like uh, he feels uh, tied to um, this project. Um, the two of pentacles reminds us of um, bondage even right um manipulation but because it's in reverse i actually see it as a good thing i do want to tell you you do have the seven of swords as your challenge so here is what i have to say about the seven of swords okay i'm going to say that you're losing you're losing people, you're losing interest, earth signs, in whatever project it is that you're working on. And I'll tell you, because one, you, you don't have this tie. You're not tied to anything because the two of pentacles is in reverse. Um, but your challenge is the seven of swords. And the thing is that if you see here, it's almost like you're, you're the one that's doing most of the work. So it's actually a good thing that your team is losing numbers because it's almost like you're becoming, you're getting a quality versus quantity on your team. So it, it's almost like some of the people that you had on your team, Earth Signs, They've been a little cutthroat. They've been a little cutthroat. I, I, I see um, I see people who have lied to you. They've played with you. Actually, if you see your challenge, it even has like a circus tent, almost like it was a joke, like it was a entertainment. It was um, a circus, right? Uh, but here you are gathering all those swords that were thrown at you and at your idea and using them to climb up your mountain. 
typical earth signs i swear so you um okay your action you do have the devil in reverse so i want to tell you normally when we have the devil uh right side up i am we are talking about um taking action in um not by impact um not by force uh, what is the word i'm looking for um just on another level of intensity if you want to if you want to look yeah let's go with intensity but because the devil card is in reverse well we the action that you're being asked to take is to be gentle you know just just keep climbing and if you get more swords thrown at you earth signs just use it keep using it don't don't quit don't quit don't quit don't quit keep going keep going you know you know your vision like no one else okay earth signs um i want you to keep going and don't be irrational um earth signs tend to you know once upset earth signs tend to be um a little rough around the edges you know to be nice about it so I want you to be nice. I want you to just keep going. Honestly, it's a, it's almost like I'm being told to tell you to just be understanding for their reasons as to why. You know, they're backing out. Um, even and, and there's definitely betrayal here in, in case um, I really need to point this out. And for some of you Earth signs, my Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, um, you're going to know exactly when I said betrayal, whoever you thought of, that that's exactly it. Don't don't um don't look further into it. Don't look too much into it. Your focus, I want it to be your challenge. Believe it or not, that's what I want your your focus to be on. Your challenge, okay? So we do have um your outcome as the four of cups. So. Of course, here is um, my earth signs sitting here. You know, you're progressing because you, you, you have your cups here, but you have this magic cup here that's being shown or, or given or, or will be shown or given to you. And yes, you, you could be in reflection and it, this card may look lonesome, but you're re it's not, you're, you're not going to be alone. It's just, again, a reflection that your team is diminishing. But it's okay because, you know what, look at it this way. Here we go, Earth Science. Look at it this way. Be thankful for the amount of numbers um, and the amount of people that were supportive in the beginning that could no longer join you now. Because at the end of the day, they still did work right? They still help you get to where you are right now. So instead of being gloomy, appreciate them for what they did. Okay. Let me, excuse me guys. Um, I'm going to bring out some clarifiers. We have the karmic relationship, we have angels, and we have Egypt, i.e. pyramids. So, I apologize for my nasal, guys, but I have, um, I have incense uh, around the house. Um, anyway, so, my first clarifier is karmic relationships. So... Again, for those people that you have started this relationship, that these these um, ideas or projects, um, and yes, this could be a relationship reading, but I get this is more of a wealth, real estate, education project. Like you know, if you're in school, I get those types of vibes. I don't really. This is really not a relationship, like a love life um reading 
So by karmic relationship, what we, what we are being clarified is that, again, like I told you earlier before I brought out the clarifiers, don't dwell on who you're losing. Be thankful for the services and what they were able to give to your project or to you um, while they existed. But that's it. It could be that their job is already done. Okay, so that's what this karmic relationship is here to remind, to clarify for us. Now, remember how I asked you with the devil card in reverse that I asked you, don't, pretty much don't act out of anger, you know, be nice, be even understanding. So we have a clarifier with the angels. Okay, so I'm actually going to ask again, and you take this with a grain of salt but if you can work with uh angel saint michael i ask that you work with angel saint michael to help you elevate and concentrate on your challenge which is to keep going do not quit you understand me now we have the egypt card um as the clarifier for your outcome now, what is this telling us? Was Egypt built over a day? No. Is there, um, first of all, Egypt is a pyramid. So self-explanatory, guys, There, when you look at a pyramid, there's always more at the bottom than there is at the top. Remember, I keep telling you, focus on your challenge, with, which is to keep going to the top of that hill, of that mountain. That's pretty much what... Um, what I'm trying to tell you guys, as you continue to grow, you're going, people are going to exit stage left. Could it be in, in a bad taste? I don't, I don't see that. I just think that they're no longer interested and that's okay. Um, even if you've had a fallout or two, like I said, just be nice about it, be understanding and keep it moving. Your focal point should, should definitely be your challenge. Okay, honestly, your focal point in the actual spread is here to clarify, in a sense, um, what your what is really happening, which is that you're losing the the numbers, and that's okay. That's okay because you're gonna be victorious, right? It's clear right here. Okay, so just to move um, forward and close in closing, my. Daily positive affirmation, we have respect. Okay. Actually, Earth Science, I think this has come up for you before. I think last week, it, um, this is one of your positive affirmations. Respect the other person. Respect people's wishes. Respect people's actions. But most and foremost, respect you and your visions and where you're going. And for sure, my earth signs, do not, do not, okay? Do not sacrifice any and everything in search of respect. No one can give you what you deserve but yourself. Okay, earth signs? So I want to thank you for taking your time out for my daily readings. And of course, please feel free to contact me via email at anthemquest at gmail.com please continue to support and click the link below so that you can see my calendar and my services um on this video so that we can move forward and schedule a personal reading at your convenience i am working on updating my uh schedule um a lot of my clients i don't know why they don't like to book online so i end up looking like i have availability online and in reality i'm actually working so i promise to be a little bit more efficient with my calendar i apologize for any inconveniences that anyone may have encountered with me um i know last week i had some i had some issues with scheduling with some clients so you know, this is me becoming better and more efficient for you guys. So thank you, Earth Signs. Um, we'll speak tomorrow.